What's good, America? It's your boy Tonk. I'm out here today on the edge of Skid Row. I saw something last week in Ronson's video that I just had to personally explore myself. No way we're getting a tutorial. Everyone's curious to see what's inside of Pete's mansion. So of course, I'm on my way to Pete's mansion to see if I can't slick talk Pete and uh, let me inside, man. It's gotta be something that Pete wants in there that's just gonna make his life so much better that he can't say no to. So we're on our mission today to go see if we can't fuck around and find out what that is. So without further ado, let's get it, America. America, fuck yeah. while we're over here outside of Pete's mansion. I just gotta, you know, why would I do this, right? So things like this speak to me, America, because from the time that I was 12 years old, man, I went through homelessness from the time I was 12 to the time I was like 19, 20 even. So I fully understand the struggle. And uh, I used to be one of these people as a young kid. So I, I feel like I have a way of uh, reaching out, talking to them and, uh, understanding on a mutual level if you will america so we're gonna do our best to wait out here see if we can't find mr pete see what it's gonna take to get up in here and get a tour of pete's mansion y'all i know i was curious you guys were curious so ronster was curious so i just gotta know man like what's it look like up in there and more importantly how could i better it up in there how could it the people living in here live a better life because of something that i've done you feel me so that's our goal you feel me so without further ado we just, just gonna sit here and wait now see if we uh can't find anybody well america i'm over here right and I'm just thinking, you know, going inside someone's house would be crazy, but I mean, this isn't really a house, right? And what if, what if we just took a little sneaky peeky, right? Life's all about fucking around and finding out, so I don't think a little sneaky peeky could hurt just to, you know, see what it look like, you feel me? I want to see what it look like up in here. Oh, I'm really curious, America. I feel like you guys are too. So I feel like at the bare minimum, I just might have to take a look. I'm thinking that I'm probably gonna have to make this a few venture, a few trips. This is definitely a project of mine as of right now. Let's see what this thing looks like. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Welcome to today's episode of Willie's Really Do Solve All Your Problems in Life. So let's say you come across some train tracks. Oh no, what a pesky thing to get over. Not if you know how to Whitley America. So if you refer to episode 32B, season two, you'll see that we, we just pop our bike up and do our little exercise. That comes in handy here. Remember all those exercises you guys practice? But we don't have to do it that serious every time. So once we come up to it, you just do a little pop, get over, tilt your bike diagonal so it'll fit in between the tracks like myself and just pop your wheelie up again and repeat the more tread you have on your back tire the easier this will be and the more momentum you get going after you pop your initial wheel up and keep going 
the easier it'll be. Before you know it, you're over three train tracks just like that. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna try and be as quiet as possible. I'm gonna try and creep up to this because as you can see, it goes all the way back there. So that is just a room. That's like four of my apartments, low key. So these guys are living lavish for the free ski. I've been out here for probably about 30, 45 minutes, maybe even an hour. I haven't had any fucking luck seeing anybody. And um, there is the pulley system and I only see one rope, which means that there's probably people in here right now. Because the last time in Saranster's video, there was a rope here and there was a rope there to pull in somebody's bike. And my thought is, if there's nobody, if there's not another rope, there's no way that nobody needs to pull a bike in there, meaning that everybody's already in there. Mm -hmm. Stash the bike behind this pillar in the direction of where we know we'll need to get away. Let's see if we can get y'all a little better view. A look inside Pete's Mansion. That's what it looks like, y'all. Now we gotta see if we can get a tour. America, I kinda wanna go in there. I'm not gonna lie. I kinda wanna go in here. I just wish I could see a little better. Oh, all right, let's get out of here before we're discovered. Cause I would like to get a tour by Will. But if I can't get a tour by Will, I think I might suit up and do it for you guys. This is exciting America. We now know what Pete's penthouse looks like inside. Oh, America. I've opened a can of shit worms. I've grabbed onto the shit rope and I'm sliding down fast. You just see how hard it is to move the door. Oh, curiosity is killing the cat right now, America. Curiosity is killing the cat right now. Fuck, okay. I gotta do it. All right. So there is some key to open this somehow. I'm gonna wait for a tour, because there's no way we're opening this without making a fuck ton of noise. And if there's somebody in there, that's gonna alert them. And I can't get down this fast without hurting myself. So we gotta try voluntarily. What a discovery, America. I had to know what it looked like just a little bit. I had to leave here with knowing just a little something. America, this is exciting. Oh, I'm so impatient now. Oh, I just want to go up in there. So if you guys see right there, there's like some little latch. And I think I gotta pull something out or pull that latch down. So it unhooks right there. And then the door's gonna push forward. But they've got a chain on it right there. So it's gonna rattle like a motherfucker alerting anybody inside. Oh. Really, 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 really want to go up in here. Mm. All right, America. This is what we're going to do. We'll experiment with down here. We'll look and see if we can see up into there. Because we can see up in there from that side, we'll be able to see up into there from that side. Sir, honestly, this is all your fault. You can't be showing us cool places that I know exactly where they're at. And just not expect me to explore them. Because, bro, like, what? I got to see. Me and Pete, we're gonna hang out eventually. You guys just watch and see America. All right, let's drop in real quick. All right, and let's see what we can see. Get up on this wall. So down here we can see like some clotheslines and stuff. So people are definitely living 
in this from here to here, undoubtedly. It's crazy, I'm over here on like a fucking 90 degree angle, <laughs> just trying to scope this thing out for us. Jeez. Hello? Anybody home? You guys wanna hang out? Smoke some weed? Anything, guys? Let me know. Talk build builds on the gram. Holla, feel me? We gotta Just delve deep into this mystery. And it's like, how many other bridges have we overlooked that could have the same fucking possibility as this one? It just opens up the exploration map, man. Like, ma expansion map is being updated. Uh, we got to explore. Stack! You feel me, America? <laughs> the suspense is too much. I don't know. I'm just gonna alley oop on up in here. You see? All right, let's go back up and do some fucking exploring, America. Pete's penthouse. I'm coming back for you. There's usually some people living under the staircase. We gotta see if we can't talk to them and get some information here. We are gonna figure this shit out. Yeah, anybody home? Hey, how you doing, bro? My name's Tonka, man. I just be fucking, I'm sure you see me pass through here all the time. I just be exploring and shit, you feel me? What's the story on this uh, penthouse back here, right? People be living in there, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, I was just wondering, who might I talk to to possibly get a tour of in there, right? Because I'm I, I'm coming from the streets. Since the time I was 12 years old, I lived under a bridge too, you feel me? I, I was just wondering, you feel me, who I might talk to just to, I know Pete live up in there, right? Uh, and I was just I'm trying to... Right now, uh, last time I was Kevin. So if you see Kevin, talk to him. Kevin, okay, okay. Do he ever be come down here and fuck with you, bro? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. He usually has a with him. Yeah, bro, and I'd be willing to smoke y'all out or get y'all, you know, some of whatever y'all like, you feel me? Better y'all's life in some way. For showing me, you feel me? Because I'm appreciative. America wants to know. I want to know. We. This is just a cool spot, you know? Back when I was homeless, this is some shit I would have, like, gone crazy for, you know? So it's just, like, interesting to see and, you know, show the people, you feel me? So, yeah, if you're down, bro, I'll stop by and try some of this shit, bro. Here. Bro, this is some in Hot Times Magazine like a month and a half ago. It's called, it's called Moroccan Peaches, bro. Yeah, dude, shit's fu yeah. fucking hitting. But anyway, I'll talk to you here, bro. I hope you have a great day, man. Tonka, bro, like like the truck, man. Pleasure meeting you, bro. What was your name? Mode. Mode? Yeah. I said it right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, 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 bro. It's a pleasure meeting you, Mode, man. Thank you for your time, man. I hope you have a great day. And, uh, bro, I'm gonna bring you some shit next time I see you, bro. All right, you have a great day, man. All right, America, so you heard it. We just gotta keep coming down here. We just gotta keep coming down here, man. And I think we go fucking meet Mr. Pete. I don't think, he said Pete doesn't live in there anymore, but his boy Kevin do. So, we are close, America, we are close. All right, so I got another question to ask, bro. I'm so curious about this now. And I feel like we're so close. Hey, Mode, one more question, bro. Do you think uh, anybody's up in there right now? And do you think if there uh, anybody would be mad if I just like was like over there type shit? They probably wouldn't like it, right? Yeah. If you, wait for Kevin. If you just see Kevin, yeah. If you see uh, Bando, maybe, and then if you see uh, Kevin Bando, or, um, Mike. Kevin Bando or Mike. All right, I just gotta find out. Okay, really appreciate you, bro. Yeah, for sure. Peace. All right, America, so we've learned the people out here a little bit. We've gotten in with a couple of them. And now it's only right to respect the people. I think that we have a good chance of meeting these people. We just got to keep coming back here. And we're still going to go to the other side of the bridge to see if this, this side of the bridge is built like this side of the bridge that we just came from. But this is fucking awesome. And I should have asked bro that question. But I think it's interesting, I was so... I think it's just interesting to find out for ourselves sometimes, you know? We don't want to bother bro with too much questions, but uh, he was super cool. So shout out Mode, man, you a cool cat. 
we are one step closer to a tour of Pete's penthouse but it sounds to me like it may not even be Pete's penthouse Pete may have just been visiting that day apparently Pete doesn't live in there and that place is run by a guy named Kevin and Bando now that we've learned and one other guy we're running back in the tapes uh, with what bro said it's a very interesting little development, America. <laughs> we are one little step closer. Hey, hi, how are you, bro? How you doing? Doing all right today, OG? I'm hanging around, man. Hell yeah, I'm man. Fix my pants before I hit that corner. <laughs> Hell yeah, OG. Yeah, well, she you be? Doing, I'm man? doing all right, man. I'll just feel me. I'll be exploring and stuff. You yeah. feel me? I seen across the bridge there was like a little like a little penthouse over there right but i didn't want to disrespect anybody by like going up in there. i figured somebody might live up in there you know yeah. so i don't want to disrespect nobody's home or nothing but i was trying to find maybe who might live over there Where see if I, the so across this across? this bridge right here the on the yeah the railroad tracks right. there's like a little thing that goes up uh like under the bridge type shit and like oh, you could tell in the river? yeah like uh it's above the river so like okay. imagine like like there's like a room under that bridge type oh, shit oh, yeah 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 over there on. Yeah. Which one? The on the floor. uh right here on this bridge so i was just trying to film me i was just trying to see who's around who might know who live in there so i could talk to them but like hey bro i'll be exploring i come from the streets you feel me i've lived under a bridge myself you feel me right. so i was just wondering if I could possibly get a tour, you feel me? And I'd do something nice for him, give him a little. Maybe if they like to get that for him, you yeah, feel me? Whatever. I, I know who lived. That's John. John. Interesting. Oh, he be riding a bike. Yeah. So, America, this calls for an interesting development. This guy right here pulling up the bike that said his name was Pete is actually John. He was lying about his name, presumably, so that way if anybody asks about Pete, he would know exactly who sent him. Looks to me like Pete's penthouse is out and John's jungle gym is in. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know where I could get up with John? I just really respectfully like to holler at him, but like, hey, he man. Only, he really only come out at night. Okay, okay. But he come out, he do his little errands and come back. So, Tight. you know that parking lot right there? Before the you go into there. Where the, the music be coming from? Oh, yeah, like uh, the over by 6th Street. Right. Well, there's a gate right on the side of the bridge. If you go across the bridge, then you come right instead of going down uh, with that mission. Yeah, yeah. Go uh, left on the bridge and then left again, and then you go. There's gonna be a gate, but it's open. Okay. And if you go right there in that lot or right there where the steps is to come up the bridge, you'll see him here come in and out. All right, all right. I appreciate you, OG no man. Problem. You have a blessed day. Yeah, you too. You be doing that for that day, YouTube. Yeah, I be on YouTube, bro. Yeah. To a What's Good America on YouTube, man. Check me yeah, out. I, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. All right, OG. We have a blessed day now. Hell yeah. Hey, OG, this for you. Yes, sir. Putting smiles on people's faces every day. That's what it's all about. Spreading positivity where no positivity would usually even be spread. But this is not looking very accessible at the moment. We may have to do some climbing, and I am very shocked that nobody lives under here. But, huh. Interesting, America. Everything is all locked up. This is like a, this is like a work area. It looks like construction of some sort. But, huh. Oh, shit. Oh, there's somebody parked right there. Wow, okay. So this is obviously used for business. This is the other side of the bridge that we were just on. And interestingly enough, as you can see, Jeremy reserved. So somebody named Jeremy, that's probably whose car this is, is parked there. But on the very other side of this exact same bridge, America, there's people living. And as you can see, we are step by step getting closer to finding out who lives under that bridge, how we can sauce them up, and get a tour for America. They use one side of the bridge for storing stuff, but just on the very other side of the bridge, there's people living there. It's like, that just goes to show that it's like LA in a nutshell. It's like business, work, homeless people living. And that's just, that's LA for you. It's crazy. I think the only thing left to do right now is go back to the other side of that bridge, chill out, 
See if we can't uh, sweet talk, slick talk our way into a tour. You know, I'm going to try and get this video done today, but it's not up to me. It's up to the universe and it's up to whoever does it. But the last bro said that bro doesn't usually come out till night and it's 3.08 right now. So I'm thinking we'll go over there because I'm thinking there's probably more than one person that lives under there with all that room. We'll just go back over there. And we'll just see if we can't run into anybody in the off chance that they may be over there. And then we will go back and continue this at night one of these days. Probably even tonight. Depends on uh, my plans and what my charge looks like. But uh, we will be coming back here predominantly at nighttime. Hoping to run into John. We are this much closer to finding out. A tour of Pete's penthouse. We're just gonna hang out and hopefully somebody who lives down here will pop up. Cause it's trying to fucking see what's good. America. And now we wait. Hey what's up bro? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Just hanging out, exploring, bro. Say, man, do you know who lives up over here, bro? I was just, I mean, I'd be exploring and stuff. I used to live under a bridge myself. So now I'd be exploring, you know, things like this, you know? So I was just wondering if you knew who lived up here. Because I didn't want to violate, you know, anybody's home or whatnot. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't want to, I wanted to be respectful, you feel me? And see who I could get permission from to maybe you say what's up. So uh, fucking give me like a little tour, you know? And I bring something to you. What's the charge? If you're if you're in pain inside, that's the only way you can get inside. Right, right. Yeah, I, I would only want to go with permission. You know, being cool with you guys. There are people that can get in there. I want to already been in there. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. I feel that. I feel that. So. One guy, one guy brought the stuff to touch it up. What we do it? Wow, you see, that's what that's something I had in mind too. I like, I'm, one of the things I wanted to do is like, if I went in there, I would want to leave it better than I found it. So I want to see some way I could better it up in there to better whoever's living in there, you know, better their everyday life type shit too. Uh, this has been going on. Uh, first time I stayed over this bridge, ninety-seven. Ninety-seven. Wow, that's a year before I was born. That's crazy. Yeah? Right, 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 right. You chilling. You chilling over here. Oh, yeah. Right, 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 right. For sure, for sure. I feel like I feel like he'd be cool with it, though. You feel me? I, I'll give him something he wants. You feel me? You say what? It's up to me. For sure, so. Hell yeah. Well, I appreciate uh, talking to you, bro. I hope you have a great day, man. Peace out, bro, bro. Who was that? Carry what? Carry Packer? Okay, okay. Carry. Well, pleasure to meet you then, Carry. My name is Tonka, man. So you know. So hopefully, America, we can hang out and bump into John. Everybody down here, super fucking cool as fuck. So, yeah. Homeless people get a bad rap, you feel me? I was a homeless person once too. We're just people, man. We gotta run into John now. That's the next, that's the next quest. We've got three people that confirmed John is the man to talk to. So now we just gotta chill out and hopefully run into John. One eternity later. Been out here for about another hour. As expected, we haven't seen not another soul come nor go. So we still got bro over here in the cut. We got bro over here that we talked to earlier. Looks to me like the main character in our story at the moment is John. We find John find our way into a proper tour of John's Jingle House. That's what we're going to call it, for lack of a better word. That sounds kind of ditty, though, so we need to come up with a better name. But, anyways, America. There's some big things, some big reviews, some interesting things coming y'all's way. Thank you guys for watching. Till the end, love y'all, America. Till next time. America, fuck yeah!
stay tuned for part two, America. We're going to find John. We're hot on the trail. We're going to meet up with him. And we're going out there every night until we do, America. Till next time.